Uh, hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm going to talk about hash functions. Uh, well, hash functions are uh, one-way encrypting algorithms, meaning uh, when you encrypt something using uh, some hash function, you cannot uh, decrypt it back into original form, right? That's why hash functions are really uh, useful when working with passwords. You simply, for example, save uh, hash value of your passwords inside some file or database and if uh, someone uh, for example gets access to your database it can only see the hash values of the passwords but not the passwords itself and also because hash, fu uh, hash functions are one-way encrypting algorithms he can never uh, decode that uh, hash value into original plain text meaning to discover your password so uh, in this video, I'm going to sh uh, show you how you can uh, implement some of the hash functions in C++ Builder. So first of all, I'm going to create a VCL Forms application and uh, I'm going to add a button here, a text, okay? And I'm going to say here, uh, hash. So what I want when I click this button to hash the string that uh, is contained inside this edit here. Uh, there are many hash functions and uh, I'm going to demonstrate some of them. For example, MD4, MD5. If you are going to use those uh, hash functions, you need to include um, id hash um, message digest. HVP, I believe it's hash message digest. I believe it's called like that. And once you have that, uh, then you can create, uh, for example, uh, hash, as you can see, now I have some hash functions available. For example, this is the MD4, MD2, MD4, MD5. Let's just say MD5, uh, for example, md5 equals new the hash md5 uh, and now I can simply say for example uh, I'll add another edit here that will be pretty much the result text equals uh, md5 uh, hash as you can see hash string as hex for example what string the string that is contained inside edit one okay so let's try it edit one and if i hash this string with md5 i get this value here uh, md5 online, let's just compare this. Okay, edit one. So it's pretty much the same hash. So our hash uh, is good, right? So uh, as you can see, it is really simple. Uh, you just include this header if you want to use uh, md. Uh, message digest algorithms and uh, well create an object and use hash as uh, hash string as hex or whatever uh, uh, method you need right uh, if you want to use uh, for example secure hash algorithms you need to uh, include I believe include the hash uh, secure hash algorithm and what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create an object that is called the S uh, hash. And now, as you can see, uh, when using this uh, uh, secured hash algorithm, you get a secured hash algorithm version one, and this is pretty much the version two. Okay. Uh, what you need to know is that version one, meaning this one here, is directly implemented inside C++ Builder or Delphi with the components. But in order to use this, uh, the version two, you need to uh, have 
OpenSSL installed and also your clients need to have OpenSSL. But I'm not sure, uh, is it possible, for example, to simply copy uh, OpenSSL DLLs into your uh, application folder? Maybe it would work. I don't know, to be honest, I didn't try it, but it's just an idea, right? So let's demonstrate this uh, secured hash algorithm number one. So I'm just going to say one. Okay, now let's see. So I'm going to find online edit one. So as you can see, uh, our hash is good, right? Uh, the other thing that we can do is like I said, we can try to use one of these hashes. So let me, for example, try this one. Okay. Now let's see what happens. Empty string. Okay. This pretty much uh, indicates uh, this is uh, this uh, happened because well I previously explained you need to uh, use Open SSL library in order to use uh, the secured hash algorithm version two right uh, so how to uh, do it well first of all I'm going to include here um, include id SSL open SSL HPP. So uh, this is required for secured hash algorithm number two and all of its versions, right? And uh, once I've done that, uh, I can, for example, try and say uh, if is available. else so let's try like this uh, SSL SSL not available uh, pretty much it says uh, not the open SSL but the a hash function is not available uh, because I didn't uh, load my uh, SSL, open SSL. In order to do that, I will, for example, say id SSL open SSL, and there is a function that is called load open SSL library. So you can pretty much say here if uh, uh, not equals uh, true. Would not be loaded and return or uh, well that's pretty much it let's try this and now as you can see he was uh, loading the open SSL library and once he loaded it we were able to use this uh, hash uh, 200 and 56 bits uh, is there such a version here okay so as I can notice and I believe you do uh, also it is the same so our hash function works uh, properly I can then use any type of uh, other uh, versions of the secured hash algorithm number two, for example, this one. Okay, 
so it uh, really works and uh, that's uh, how it's done guys uh, as you can see uh, if you want to use hash functions i uh, i can recommend that you use the s uh, secure hash algorithm version one uh, because when you use version one you don't need to include this uh, header here and you don't need to use open ssl library but if you are going to use the uh, secure hash algorithm number two uh, and it's uh, types like uh, 256 uh, 512 and so on you need to use open ssl library as also your clients need to use it uh, there is also one other uh, approach you can use and that is to uh, install the crypt uh, library for delphi as you can see uh, these are the components uh, it comes with components for hash uh, functions uh, you simply place it here and uh, uh, write a code it has internal methods that will allow you to uh, hash strings and whatever data do you but the problem uh, with these components is they are not updated uh, and uh, well the author is not developing them anymore so it is really a complication when you need to install it for example i just bought c++ uh, xe6 uh, c++ with xe6 and uh, i need to recompile them uh, from uh, xe2 to xe6 and will it work or not then there are complications to compile them for 64-bit and so on but when using uh, something like this it really works no matter what the platform our target is so it's up to you to decide guys and well uh, that's it if you have any questions like always uh, be free to uh, write them down thank you for watching and see you later